when we are in discussions there's something as well when we when we say get a win-win there's something called the emotional bank account as so lee do you remember do, we talked about the emotional bank account we before. have if talked we about have, this before i cannot remember an episode number it? i might sneakily look one up for you let's take a guess and say 73 and i see how close i am but yeah so the emotional right. bank account as in putting positive credits in your thoughts towards people that sort of area am i right yeah so am when I you three like for three so far like, today on my test you are on fire you're on this. fire i pay attention so to the podcasting you, you're all you're all over this right so it's literally when you meet someone for the first time you've probably got a, like you 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 you're, you're, you're right in your bank account but you start to have a, you start to have a discussion and then suddenly but due, due depending on the emotions if you are if you if you are connecting or building rapport you're building a plus in that amount of bank account so if you start making mistakes people are more likely to forgive you right but your bank will account start shrinking but if you start off on a, on a footing which is you know like say you wanted you you want to like win and you want them to lose right and you're in that situation what happens then is you start off in a negative, right? You start in yeah. negative, and then if you make a mistake, they're more likely to sort of try and undo you, try and stitch you up, whatever it might be, right? So that's what we're aiming for. So what's this got to do with every everyday life? What, so Lee, what's your potential? What, so I'm gonna ask you, how do you go through your negotiations or, or when you're negotiating? This could be with your beloved, this could be with coworkers, it could be any form of life. What's what's your, what do you tend to lean on? And how do you tend to to, to go with these things. Can I give you two answers on this? Yeah, you can. So when I was younger, I think I would very much go for the sell of an idea that has a benefit for me in it. And I think a lot of my world would have been naively with that that view upon it. So I've definitely I've definitely lived that life, so to speak. And I would now in fact there's a number of things I'm doing right now that I can't really talk about because they're they're real life and we're happening as we go, where I'm using that kind of mentality. There's people I'm very conscious of building a relationship with, working with, and I want to make sure that there is that kind of emotional credit in the bank account so that, you know, there will be times when I will not, I was going to say F up. So I say F up. It happens. It yeah, happens with everyone. And I want to make sure I've got those type of relationships with people where that two-way street isn't a problem and you can work together and get on well. But that doesn't happen without laying a bit of the groundwork to have that that relationship i think you know it's nicer to get on with people and it makes things easier with work as well so i'm very the fact that i can pull off two or three examples where i'm doing that sort of win-win mentality now shows me that i've moved from where i was i was before and i, I would want to you know i could say you know that's what i do i put this stuff in place but it's most definitely not always been the case and i think that's an important message to people you know you can start working on this now it can become you even if it's not and having lived both sides of the fence you get better results and you just feel better as a person in doing it this way as well i think uh -huh.